Have you ever considered the impact of your favorite fast food item on your health? Let's delve into a recent study that might make you reconsider your next drive through order. Dr. Jacob Torres, a renowned researcher at UCSB, decided to investigate the effects of a popular fast food staple, the Chicken McNugget, on our health. The findings? Quite shocking to say the least. Dr. Torres conducted an experiment where participants were given Chicken McNuggets to consume, and their kidney function was closely monitored. Now what do you think happened? Well, brace yourselves, because the results were rather startling. There was a significant decrease in kidney function among the participants, a decrease that persisted not just for a day or two, but for about two whole weeks after consumption. Yes, you heard that right. Two weeks of reduced kidney function, all from a seemingly harmless bite-sized piece of chicken. Hard to believe, isn't it? But the evidence is right there in the research. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world could cause such a drastic effect? The answer lies in the primary culprit behind this decline in kidney function, the presence of oxidized oils in the fried nuggets. When these oils are heated to high temperatures, they turn into harmful compounds that can wreak havoc on our bodies, particularly our kidneys. So, the next time you're craving that crispy golden nugget, remember this study. Remember the potential impact on your kidney function. Remember that what goes into our bodies has far-reaching effects on our overall health. Imagine, a simple chicken nugget could impact your kidney function for two weeks. As we continue, we'll delve deeper into the science behind these findings and discuss more hidden threats in our everyday diet. So what exactly is causing this decline in kidney function, you might ask? Well, the primary villains are oxidized oils and a group of harmful compounds known as Advanced Glycation End Products, or AGEs for short. Let us break it down. When we heat oils to high temperatures, as in the case of frying, they can undergo a process called oxidation. This process creates toxic compounds that our bodies struggle to process. Consuming oxidized oils can lead to inflammation and damage in our organs, including the kidneys. Moving on to AGEs, these are formed when carbohydrates bind to proteins, a process that alters the structure of these proteins. This change in structure isn't a harmless alteration. It triggers a series of events that leads to inflammation in the body. Now let's talk about our kidneys. These hardworking organs are equipped with receptors known as RAGE receptors. Their job is to detect AGEs. When they do, they respond with inflammation. This inflammation disrupts the balance of fluids in our body, leading to issues like puffiness and, you guessed it, reduced kidney function. So, when we consume foods like our infamous chicken nuggets, which are loaded with oxidized oils and AGEs, we're setting ourselves up for a potential health decline. We're essentially overloading our kidneys with harmful compounds, causing them to work extra hard and eventually resulting in a decrease in their functionality. Now this might be a lot to take in, but understanding what goes on inside our bodies when we consume certain foods is a crucial step towards making healthier choices. Oxidized oils and AGEs, they're more harmful than you might think. But wait, there's another compound we have to address, oxalates. You're probably wondering what these substances are and why they matter. Oxalates are naturally present in various foods and excessive consumption can result in substantial health issues. They can lead to the formation of kidney stones, hard mineral, and salt deposits inside your kidneys by binding with calcium in your urine. Furthermore, oxalates can also accumulate in other body tissues, causing inflammation and oxidative damage, which can result in different health conditions including joint pain and problems. Let's discuss some common high oxalate foods. Spinach and rhubarb, for example, are nutrient-packed foods but also high in oxalates. The same applies to beetroot, chocolate, peanuts, and some berries. If you're looking to cut down on oxalates, consider alternatives like arugula, versatile and low in oxalates, and cruciferous vegetables like dino kale, brussels sprouts, and broccoli. The main aim is managing your overall daily oxalate load. Understand that oxalates are inevitable, even our usual metabolism produces them. The goal isn't to remove oxalates completely, rather to avoid consuming excessively. An interesting fact is that our ability to deal with oxalates is probably less efficient now than it was perhaps 100 years ago due to the lack of a bacterium called oxalobacter formagenes in many people today. This bacterium plays a key role in breaking down oxalates, thereby preventing their absorption. Current research is looking into ways to reintroduce this bacterium into our bodies, perhaps through probiotics. There's a gritty feeling after eating spinach. It's not just texture, it's oxalates. And that's why it's important to stay informed about what you consume and how it can affect your health. It's not about fear, it's about awareness and balance. 
Stay tuned as we explore how to manage your oxalate and advanced glycation end products or AGEs intake in the upcoming part. So, what's the takeaway from all this, you might wonder? Well, it's about fostering a mindful approach to eating. When we talk about mindful eating, we're not just talking about paying attention to what we eat, but also how often and how we cook our food. The frequency of consuming fried and high oxalate foods can significantly impact your overall health. Remember the Chicken McNugget study? The participants' kidney function declined because of the oxidized oils and AGEs present in the fried food. Similarly, frequently consuming high oxalate foods like spinach and rhubarb can lead to inflammation and oxidative damage. But don't worry, we're not asking you to give up your favorite foods. It's about moderation and balance. A plate of fried chicken nuggets once in a while won't harm you, but making it a daily meal could lead to health issues. Cooking methods also play a significant role. Cooking low and slow can help reduce the formation of AGEs. Pairing high oxalate foods with calcium-rich foods can also help manage your oxalate intake. And finally, it's about making smarter choices, understanding the impact of what you're eating, and adjusting accordingly. That's all we have for today, folks. We hope you found this information eye-opening and helpful. To dive deeper into the world of health and nutrition, we highly recommend visiting Dr. Jacob Torres's website. There, you'll find a wealth of information to help you make informed decisions about your health. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest health tips, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell. Stay tuned for more health tips and remember, balance is key.